Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Ole Bay. Thank you guys for stopping by the collection room today. Um, today I'm looking at some comic books. Um, basically, it's DC, and it's all first issues of series I'm not very familiar with. So uh, we'll start off here. Uh, I got issue number one of Angel and the Ape. Uh, this is a four-part mini-series. Um, I have vaguely heard of these uh, characters, but I don't, I don't know anything about them except... Uh, very cartoony, very, very different than your probably your average normal DC book of the time. But yeah, weird cartoony animation or art in them. That's just different than than your average hero books. And I can hear dogs going crazy out in the alley, shaking the family tree. I don't get, does he talk? Are they raised together? What's the deal here? Looks like they are raised together. How bizarre. Oh, he does talk. Wow. Okay, I did not know that the ape spoke. And I also can't tell if it's actually funny or if it's just drawn funny and it's like cringy, kind of like uh, Dinosaurs for Hire. What kind of a art, in, uh, is this like actual comedy? Is it like, uh... yeah, cause it looks like weird parody of like a regular superhero book. Um, if anybody knows more about this, you can throw it my way. If these are good, I don't know. Uh, the art's not a total turn off to me, but it, it's also like really hard to get like a, what's the vibe here? Trying to get like a total uh, comprehension of it. it. Just seems like an odd cartoon book, like it was based off a comic strip, but I kind of get the feeling that maybe it's not. Maybe it's slightly more uh, mature in its humor style. I can't really tell. I just don't know who it was for. Arch Rivals. I used to love this game in the arcade. Uh, I actually just loved, used to love watching my brother play it. He was really good at it. Uh, next up we have The Phantom Stranger. Uh, another first issue in a four issue miniseries. I don't have any more of these, I don't think. Um, now The Phantom Stranger I am mildly familiar with. I had an old, a bunch of old, uh, old like copper and golden age ones reprinted in one of the big black and white thick DC uh, trade book things which i don't have anymore and i remember enjoying the stories uh because they were just you know they were kind of like the old horror books they were just individual self-told stories and you'd follow along with uh people that he encountered or haunted briefly and then their life would either change or they'd die or something like that and that was it then you'd go on to the next story. So I enjoyed those. I think these are more modern, so I think these a little more tied in with the rest of the DC universe. Um, yeah, in the old stuff, in the 60s, 70s, he was not, or in the old, uh, old trades that I had, he was kind of just a standalone book with standalone stories, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed them. I wish they'd have been color. They were all just kind of reprinted black and whites, but I enjoyed them a lot. Yeah, because we got Eclipso, the Master of Evil. We got like uh, characters that we know from other books now. It also doesn't help that I am not a DC aficionado that much. I don't read that much DC. There's a few books I like, and the ones I like are the ones that are not particularly nested deep in the continuity of the universe. Uh, next up, we got, what's this? First issue, 32 pages of the greatest artistic discoveries in content. New Talent Showcase. Uh, featuring Forever Amber by Richard... Or Rich Magopoulos and Stan Walk. I don't know what this is. Is this short stories? 
Forever Amber. Short introduction stories of new characters. I don't know. The art in it looks very nice. Uh, I do love multi-armed uh, animations and people and drawings. I, I always find those fascinating. Big fan of, of cephalopods. So Forever Amber looks, I mean, she's blonde, but she looks Asian. So I don't know. I guess that can happen. Yeah, I don't really know where this is going. Kind of looks like a kind of atypical story, but the art style being done quite well. Wow, we got pirates. Love me some pirates. Does this book just have like ninjas and pirates in it? Because uh, I think that makes it a win. Like all the way, like this book's a win then. Rock of Ages. What do we got? An ancient man. Don't punch the ancient man. Why would you do that? Don't punch the ancient man. And then we got class of 2064 in the extremely far future of 2064. Wow. Let me be honest. I'm not sure if we. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it to the 2064 uh, at the rate we're going. <clears throat> If we do, uh, I hope we're, I hope we're looking like this. This could be this could be better than what we got. So I th that was some great looking stories in there. I'm uh, new talent showcase. Uh, that's 1984. Thumbs up. That's an approval. I give a, my full approval to that. What do we got here? We got Team Titans. What are the Team Titans? Total Chaos takes uh, three of nine. Part three of nine. How can it be part three of nine on its first issue? See, DC, why did you confuse me like this, DC? Why do you do this? You got a beautiful uh, opening front page. What is this, Adam Hughes? Wow. Adam Hughes is the da, 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 penciler. That's always a good sign. You got Adam Hughes doing pencils. That means DC loves you. Yep, he looks like he's knocking out the whole book. Adam Hughes does good work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wings, we got winged hat man. I ain't mad at this art. I don't know what the deal is with this character. I always, I always love uh, the way he does faces. That is actually the best thing Hughes does is uh, facial expressions. I mean, look at those. Way to go, John Hughes. Not John Hughes. Way to go, Adam Hughes. Shoot, why is my brain malfunctioning? Adam Hughes. John Hughes, not John Hughes. John Hughes made 16 candles. Adam Hughes made, paints or arts, draws great facial expressions. Okay, I need to go to bed. And I'm clearly too tired to be doing this. Fumbling over my words. I love your hair, man. Uh, that looks like Liefeld hair. I don't know what you're doing with that. You need to avoid Liefeld hair. No one touches this woman except me. The childhood's end. This is Kevin McGuire. This is not. This is not Adam Hughes. But I think I've seen this guy's work before. It almost looks like he used to draw Gen X or something. Because this looks very familiar, like this art style. And I'm I'm digging it. I like I like that. Looks very very nice. He's just about not using panels. He's just slapping them all over the. Oh, nice, nice hard punch right in your face. Starfire gets a suck in the nose. Usually we see more like face punching like that in like Fem Force. I don't technically see that much uh, amazing face punching in other comics as I do in Film Force, but the occasional face punch in this is okay. Look, look at this whole page. Not a single face punch going on. Def Leopard, Adrenalize. So this guy does very good work. I don't know, I never noticed the name before, but 
it's one that I think I'll try to remember and look out for because I do really like that. That looks very nice. The Heckler. Donna Troy can die. We don't want Donna Troy to die, do we? I don't think so. Uh, Guy Gardner with a terrible high and tight haircut. And all I remember about him is him being a super jerk. Oh my gosh. Jennifer Jason Lee, Bridget Fonda, single white female. I want to watch this movie. I love Bridget Fonda. Bridget Fonda is like a discounted version of uh, another actress whose name I forget right now. But still, she's great. Oh, Jodie Foster. She's like a cloned Jodie Foster. That's why I like her. Anyway, um, there is there is four number ones that I don't recall in my collection, but they're there. Um, good Hughes work on the inside. Uh, four good looking all t all across the board stories. Phantom Stranger, an Angel and the Ape, uh, and trying to define what kind of comedy that is. But those are my comics. That was my little stack there, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys coming by and watching. Thank you so much. That's my story, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.